I've known about the deal from its inception for about nine or ten days now. News of that deal gave Jason Greenberg hope that hostages would soon be released, women and children, including some of his own relatives. It's not enough, but it's a start. Five members of his family were abducted on October 7th, two discovered dead. His cousin Ofer and Ofer's two children remain captured in Gaza. I hope to the very core of my soul that um, Sahar and Erez are released tomorrow. But as we spoke, more news broke that any release has been delayed until at least Friday. I was hoping for Thanksgiving miracle, and now we have to wait another day, and it'll be the 48th day. If it's not to be tomorrow, then again, I'm not surprised. We're not dealing with a rational organization. We're dealing with terrorists. He was hoping to soon learn the names of the first 10 hostages to be released, but now the waiting continues. It's a it's a moment to moment agony that, that I go through and um, try to remain cautiously optimistic. There's nothing that they or we want more than them to be released and reunited and to be able to heal. The delicate deal would release 50 women and children in exchange for 150 prisoners being held by Israel and a four day break in fighting. It's all on hold another day. How far does Israel need to go to get your family members out? Farther. In Needham, Sean Chayabat, WCVB News Center 5.